going to do is gonna continue to the app when they continue on the application what's gonna happen what are you going to see so first is going to see um, you have to log into the CBP app because you remember we created an account already so you have to use that account to log into the CBP app to continue to enter all your information so when you first open the application you're going to see that um, the app is going to ask you who are you so you have to select the traveler so the traveler which is uh, who is the uh, the beneficiary or the person that's going to travel so um, also you have to mention that you're going to travel by air so that means you're going to fly right so make sure that you you, you follow what's on the screen step by step until you get to what you need so the second step will be the um, you're going to um, request this is all where they're going to ask you to put your information right advanced travel authorization so basically using the cbp app you're going to use it to request um advanced travel authorization this is what it is and then you're going to add all the information that uh, um, they ask you on the application so they can grant the beneficiary access to travel so we so the cbp app you we use it to ask or to request uh, travel authorization so the third step so they're going to ask you to enter or they're gonna, i won't ask the beneficiary to enter the alien number the a number it's basically on the application number you will see it so the benefit the, the sponsor should be able to give that to the beneficiary right um, the fourth step is to scan your passport so the beneficiary going to scan their passport on the application and then once the scan is going to upload to the system so USS or the immigration will have the um, um, would have all the information they need about the beneficiary so they'll be able to travel easily with all the information that um, USS collect from them. But uh, uh, also they're going to ask you to um, enter, to take a picture of yourself. That means the beneficiary will need to enter, to, to take a picture to the application, the CVP application, to after they upload the, um, the passport, they're going to take a picture so they can verify that that's the, that that's the person, right? After that, you enter the, um, uh, after that, after um, the beneficiary enter all that information, so um, the system is going to verify everything and then the beneficiary has to review everything that the passport number is correct. The system saves all the information and all, all the information correctly, right? Once you do that and then um, the beneficiary is going to hit submit. Once the beneficiary submit and then it's all good to go. Now we have to wait for USS or immigration to approve this request, right? Let's go to the next step. Security travel authorization that we requested using the CBP app. And then as you can see on the screen, that person was granted, was approved to travel to the US. So once you're tra approved to travel, you have 90 days to travel to the US or this form going to be expired. Once it's expired, you cannot travel that cannot come we have to reapply for you but um we have to do that you know within three months 90 days so come to the us and then um the next step will be one is to